Capricorn. I just did a 20 minute video for you guys and it didn't work out. So I'm going to tell you what the reading was about. I'm not going to read these cards again. I'll just do a whole nother reading. So the reading I just did that did not even save on my computer and it showed that it was recording was about you guys having many options but somebody who's trying to get away with something with the seven of swords and it's like I had the star card so that means you guys were in the spotlight or all eyes were on you um, but of course this, the star card has to do with you guys continuing to heal having faith trusting the universe yada 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 so in the reading it was like somebody was coming into your energy. Um, that's a mature, an emotionally mature and stable person. But there was envy because your luck was changing. And um, somebody was very jealous of you. And they did not like the fact that you came out of the dirt. That you, like a lotus flower, grew out of the muck and you're thriving they wanted you to stay in that energy <laughs> i can't believe i lost the rating they wanted you to stay in that energy i'm sorry let me so my name is narai go by nay i'm a capricorn too again i just did a reading i just spilled all my florida water darn it i might really need it <laughs> i just did a reading for you guys that was like 18 or 20 minutes long and I the whole thing is just gone from my Mac and so to continue and it was for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus North and South node this person wanted you to stay in the ten of wands energy they wanted you to stay in the nine of wands energy they wanted you to stay in the energy where you felt like you had a lot of burdens and things weren't working out for you and you're the wounded warrior and this person is kind of like, well, how is Capricorn thriving? Like, how come Capricorn bounced back? Why is Capricorn not upset? And so, they don't see everything that you went through. They don't see the sleepless nights you've had. They don't see... The prayers that you put in, the meditations you put in, the rituals that you've done to come out of whatever the, the sadness was that you were in that was consuming you. They wanted you to stay in the depression. They wanted you to stay in the misery. And you're not there anymore. And this person is very envious. And then after that... What I got was that you're going to be, for some of you, you're going to be set up. You're going to be set up to where, and I felt like it was such a messy reading because I don't do messy readings like that. I don't, I really don't. I might have had a couple, but some people's readings, I just see it so dramatic and they have all these People that watch their videos, I just, I, that's just not how I do tarot, but today it came out. And so, the intuitive message, so half of it was tarot, half of it was intuitive. The intuitive message I got after I had done the reading, and I was just looking at the cards, is that the reason that somebody's trying to get away with something, and the reason you have these the seven of cups came out in the beginning where you have options it's not just that you might have options for a job I thought of somebody trying to climb the ladder somebody's trying to climb the ladder at a job um, but you may not know all the details do your due diligence and read the information make sure you know exactly what you're signing up for just know exactly what you're signing up for because there may be some information that's not really disclosed to you. Just know what you're signing up for. I feel like this is something more to do with a privately owned company. But in, also in regards to the Seven of Cups. Um, it could also be somebody at your job being deceitful. Because they are trying to climb the ladder. 
and it could be somebody being deceitful in the regards of like if there's a group project or something they may sabotage what you're doing so that they can appear to be doing better because they're trying to get a position they're trying to climb the ladder um, but for those of you where this may not have to do with work and I didn't even pull a relationship card um, but the devil card came out so it let me know that this is somebody toxic that was in your life possibly for some of you because it's multiple stories of course and that this person could actually be upset because they can no longer manipulate manipulate you because of all the growth and the healing that you have done and so um in regards to the seven of cups which was the first card that came out so that's like the strongest energy I felt that some of you were going to be set up, meaning that somebody that you dealt with in the past or somebody that's jealous of you is going to try to set you up in regards to somebody reaching out to you or meeting you online so that they can try to hurt you or get to you somehow. This could be somebody that you're not talking to and I didn't feel that it was somebody catfishing you, like trying to act like there was somebody else. Um, although I have heard that in some readings. I didn't get I didn't feel that but I felt like somebody is getting somebody that they know to reach out to you where it's going to, it's supposed to be like a setup <laughs> but for some of you I feel like the person that's supposed to be trying to set you up like the person that they're using is actually gonna possibly catch feelings this is so messy so I'm gonna stop there and then I'm gonna do a three card reading since um, you guys are with me, but that message was for somebody. And normally if I have to do a reading over because it doesn't record, I don't say anything. But for this particular reading, I felt like I needed to say something. It's so messy, right? Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn, please? Three cards. That's one, two, three, okay, five. Four, yep. That's so funny, that card came out. The card that's show, looking at me right now, So the first card is the six of swords. You guys had moved away from something, moved on to calmer waters. You moved on to calmer waters. I feel like you had an epiphany in regards to something. You had this aha moment where things clicked in your mind. Um, and you started seeing things from a different perspective and you realize that there's so much out there for you. You don't need to be stuck in a situation that's not serving you. You were in the Nine of Swords energy. This is the card I was talking about. You were in the Nine of Swords energy. This is the energy that for the little mini read I just stated, that the reading I lost. This is the energy that person wants you to stay in, whoever is jealous of you. They wanted you to stay in the Nine of Swords energy. They wanted you to continue having sleepless nights. They wanted you to be miserable. They don't like the fact that you saw things from a different perspective. They wanted you to stay in this. And maybe the fact that you moved on and seeing things from a different perspective, this person might actually be in this energy. So for the little mini quick read, I pulled also the, um, well, not quick read, but the reading I just summarized for you that I lost. I pulled the, um, the wheel of fortune because your luck was changing and things were getting better for you and they didn't like it. And I feel like for some people, they're, they're jealous and it's bothering them. 
that Capricorn can bounce back and that Capricorn can thrive and that Capricorn can be successful. It's like some people are watching you not knowing that you might be suffering in silence in regards to certain things in your life, but they're just seeing what is shown on the outside. And I'm sorry, but myself personally as a Capricorn, I don't really hide my feelings very well, but I don't necessarily feel like I need to broadcast to everybody in the universe what I'm going through either. And I feel like a lot of you are the same way. So when people see Capricorn, people are like, oh, Capricorn's smiling, Capricorn's so happy. Everything must be going Capricorn's way. And they're envious of that. But I think this is Capricorn choosing to see the positive and knowing that Capricorn has to do things differently to close out cycles. That's why Capricorn moved away from some sort of drama anyway. And then I have the three of wands. This is Capricorn not just talking about it, but being about it too. So many times people in Capricorn's lives talk, 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 and talk a good game and say, yes, I want a relationship, and yes, I can do this, but at the end of the day, they don't do it, and they leave Capricorn hanging. Well, Capricorn is kind of like, well, if I want something done, I can do it my damn self, Capricorn. And so you guys are not just planning, but taking action. You're being sure to, ooh. Okay, that was way too many cards, but I will take this one. You're taking action. Yep, you're having a reason to celebrate. You found your stability. They didn't want you to be stable. They liked it better when you were emotionally unstable financially unstable because it made them feel better about who they were and where they were in their life but now that you're financially stable mentally stable it's bothering them you're balancing you're finding your balance some of you may not be completely balanced yet i know i'm not i'm finding my balance a lot of you are finding your balance too with the two of pentacles you're prioritizing figuring out what is actually important to you and then there's the tower moment. A lot of you realize that things fell apart and ended so that better can come into your life. So that better can come into your life. Ooh! Oh my God, I just saw it. Better can come into your life because you have a reason to celebrate and this actually came out in the last reading too, the little reading I lost where you were having a reason to celebrate and a lot of you are discovering who your friends are and I feel like for a lot of Capricorns your circle has gotten smaller because everybody is not for you everybody is not a fan everybody does not support your journey and everybody is not happy about your success but guess what It's okay, because justice will be served on a platter with your favorite foods. Balancing of the scales. Ooh, a balancing of the scales. I just heard, now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. They're not liking this change in you. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Ten of Cups. You're going to meet your Ten of Cups. You're going to find that person that is your person. Some of you will want marriage, some of you will not, and it's okay. But you're going to eventually find that person. It's just going to add to the envy that whoever this person is has for you. And then I have the death card. You're going through, you went through a rebirth. For a lot of you, you went through a rebirth and they were witnessing the pain and the suffering of your rebirth, expecting you not to come out of it. But this is why those of you that are appreciative of your tower moment knowing that things fell apart because 
somebody or something was not meant to be in your life and better was meant for you, you guys appreciate the tower moment. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I'm so tired. This, this was draining. I cannot believe I lost that other reading. But um, I summarized it. So this has to resonate for somebody. Let me know. I know it was kind of messy. The first part was. But I think this is great. Your circle is definitely getting smaller. Because you going through the tower moment and going through the rebirth or the death or whatever and a certain aspect of yourself dying put you towards your stability. And that is a reason to celebrate stability. And that this is a reason to celebrate. And this could possibly lead to marriage for some of you guys. Celebrating. Celebrate you, Capricorn. That is what I have. Somebody is jealous that you have moved on and that you're not depressed and sad. Somebody does not like the fact that you've grown and that you're living life and you're thriving. So please like and subscribe. Like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, if you like my style. Um, please share if you think this may help somebody else. And until next time, Capricorn, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.